Hey guys, so I just wanted to show you um, a quick video on a little project that I'm working on. My mom had given me the wonderful task of redoing a lampshade for her. Um, I have absolutely no sewing skills whatsoever. So this is a no sew way to redo a lampshade. Um, you're just gonna need fabric, ribbon, hot glue, scissors, and obviously a lampshade that you're gonna work on. Um, I bought a yard and a half of burlap, but it was actually really, really way too much for this. Um, the base of this is just a little over um, a foot big. So to give you some sort of reference, it is way, 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 way too much fabric. Um, but I like burlap, so I will keep it around and I am not bothered by that at all. So basically what I'm doing is going section by section. Um, at first when I took the first fabric off, this was actually a part, so I had to go around and I had to wire it. So I did that. Um, and then that way it would kind of hold in place while I worked on it, otherwise it kept just coming off, obviously. So, so I go along and I work section by section, and then in between each section I've been adding some ribbon to kind of help cover up the seam that's going there. And this project is works for low watt bulbs or my mom's actually going to use LED bulbs that have a lower wattage but give you like the same kind of um, power. So, so this is you want something that's not going to get real hot because you're it's hot glue and it's burlap. Like this is flammable. <laughs> okay, so what I did was I'm just cutting different sections of fabric. This is way too big for this section, but I just roughly kind of cut it and I'm going to start working with it. Um, so you're going to start and go, so you have some above and some below so that you can wrap it over on each side. But the first thing you want to do is um, glue this on to the inside seam. So I'm actually going to work this way just so I can see it. So I'm going to glue hot glue along here and I'm going to start and then I just kind of slowly work my way along. So I'm going to put some hot glue down and then I'm going to push it in. I'm just going to hold it there for a second so till it catches and I'm just going to keep going. more hot glue and just keep working your way down Press and hold as you go. Till you get down to the bottom. And then you're gonna have to make a little slit so that your fabric can go around the bottom pole. So I'm just gonna slip it there. And then that's gonna come around and then I can start working my way around this way. So, it doesn't really matter how the seam looks because you're just, you're going to cover it up anyways with ribbon. Um, so, and the same thing up here, you're going to snip so it goes over. I think I'm going to do the, the top first. So, and I'm, I'm kind of pulling. There's too much fabric up here, so I'm going to cut some off. I'm just kind of pulling it tight as I work my way around it. So I'm going to add some glue, sorry, just inside. And then I'm going to fold this over. And I'm actually gluing it right to the metal piece. 
Then I'm going to snip over this. And then I'm going to glue here. And I'm going to pull it tight and do that. I'm just going to press and hold for a minute. All right. And I'm just going to keep working my way around it now. So I obviously have way too much fabric. So I'm just going to cut some off. It's going to be easier to cut it off now than once it's inside. And obviously this is too much at the bottom. I'm just going to go ahead and cut some off now too. Get it out of the way. All right. So now we're going to work on this piece and we're going to glue it on there. So right now, since we're going around this wire, we're going to have to cut here because we don't need it over that piece. And then I'm just going to cut that flap off. Well, I'll wait till the end. It won't matter. So you're going to pull real, real, real tight. And it's okay because you already have it glued over on this side. And you've worked on another area and that really gave it time to dry. Okay? So you're just going to pull real, real tight and you're going to wrap this fabric around that pole. Okay? And then you're going to glue. And you're going to do this in sections. Sorry, I'm trying to, now that this is mostly done, it's hard to get to an angle that you can see. So I'm putting glue right on that pole and I'm pulling my fabric and I'm wrapping it around and pulling very tight while I do it. And I'm holding. And I'm going to do that all the way along here. Oops, I need some more hot glue. Sorry guys. Alright. So hot glue down and then Pull and hold. I'm just going to keep working my way down, just like we did on the other side. And with burlap and hot glue, the burlap goes, or the hot glue goes right through the blur burlap, so, um, I'm getting burnt and glue on my fingers as I do this. Just as a warning, um, if you're not used to working with hot glue and you don't like to get burnt all the time, you might want to choose a different fabric. But as I've stated in other videos, I am used to working with hot glue. So I'm kind of used to getting burnt all the time. Okay. So then... We're going to pull tight around the bottom. All right. I'm just going to cut this along here. Is that too close? Sorry, guys. Cut there, and then we're able to fold that fabric right over. I'm going to hot glue here. Pull and wrap around and hold. Seam along here. Pull, wrap around, and hold. Sorry, I got a lot of glue on my thumb that time. All right, almost done. Glue, wrap around, and hold. And then what we're going to do with this extra fabric that's in here, we're going to cut that off. So you're going to get as close as you can. Sorry, you can't even see this. I don't know how to do this to make it so you can see. But you're going to cut right along there. See that? So now we're cutting right along where we glued. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it and show you at the same time as I'm cutting. But I'm just going to go right up along that wire. All the way up to the top. You're gonna snip there. And then we're gonna do the same thing around the bottom. All 
All right. I'm just going to sniff off a few straight burlap pieces. It's not going to fray because you've hot glued it all the way along there. But they still don't need to hang out. All right. So now we have a seam here. And we want to cover that up. So you're going to just take ribbon. You're going to start from one end and work your way down and you're going to do it just like you did before piece by piece because this you know slopes out so you can't just take it along and go like this because then you're going to have a gap there so we're just going to start at the top i start with a little bit of glue on the inside and around the top and then i put my ribbon down and i hold it there for a second so it has time to catch And now we're going to work our way down it. So I'm just going to put some hot glue along it. And then I'm going to press and hold. And I'm just pre gently pressing. This is the area that needs to look pretty. So you don't need to go crazy. It just needs to be enough to hold the ribbon in place to cover up that seam. Got some blue strays there. All right. And you don't want too much glue because you don't want it to seep out the sides. So just keep adding glue slowly. Not too much, just enough to hold the ribbon in place. And then you're going to do just like you did at the top. There's a few stray burlap pieces here. I'm just going to snip those. You're just going to take the glue up over and in. Um, I'm actually just going to snip my ribbon now. And turn it this way. And I'm just going to take hot glue up and along there and into the inside. And then I'm just going to pull it over. it there. All right. And that's what we've just created. So you're going to do that over and over again, all the way around until you get to your last piece. So what you did was start on the inside, glued it along here, Snip the ends so that they can fold over, worked along those fold over pieces, and then the final piece wrapped around the next wire. Since we can't wrap around this wire, we're going to have to glue both pieces along the inside. Sorry, there's a little area here that does not have hot glue. I'm just going to fix that real quick. All right. So again, you're just going to take a section of burlap. I have another section here. Oh, this one's kind of diagonal. That might work out really good. All right. So I'm going to just snip off the extra. And wow, this one's actually kind of cut a little kind of to the shape. Let me put this down. See how it's narrow up here and up here? I didn't mean to do that. That was strictly by accident. <laughs> but that works out well. Um, so now we're going to just glue along the inside of both pieces. Um, just cutting off the strays that are sticking out here. So 
glue. We're just going to start on one side and we're going to start doing just as we did before and just glue along here. Like I said before, it's not a beauty contest. You can do this kind of rough and nasty because you're just going to cover up that seam anyhow. So nobody, nobody is going to know. And all the dirty stuff's on the inside. And who's going to look in there, honestly? Just working my way down, hot glue in here and there, pressing and holding. All right, so now we have that side done. Just snip our ends so that they work around the metal here. That didn't work out too well. I need to get a little. I'm going to take a chunk out, I guess. Alright. So now it's got to go this way. I'm just going to make a slit kind of around here now so that I know that eventually it needs to kind of go in there. And I'm trying to figure out the best way I want to do this. Since I can't really pull it around those pieces, I might see this is what happens when you wing it. I don't know what I'm doing, so how I'm going to complete this. I think I'm just, I'm going to keep doing it the way I was. I'm going to start on one end and work my way back around. Um, I think I'm going to start at the small end just because it sits up a little easier. And we're just going to tighten and glue as we go. So I'm pulling with this hand and I'm pinching with this hand. Um, more hot glue. Pull and pinch. I need to cut it here. I'm also just going to go ahead and cut this at the top. Okay. So now this has got to go inside of here. So this is where it's going to get tricky because I can't really show you what I'm doing exactly. I think I'm going to have to... Sorry guys, I am just figuring this out as I'm recording this, so bear with me. I'll glue this piece a little better down here. And I need more glue. It's easier when you're just wrapping around that wire and being able to pull it tight. But now you got to kind of pull it tight and glue on the inside at the same time. I think what I'm going to do is just start by cutting off some excess. I think that's going to help me see what I've what I'm working with a little bit better. <clears throat> All right. 
give me a bye. How's that? That might be a little better. So I'm going to just pull tight and I'm going to glue. All right. So I'm going to glue along here and then I'm just going to pull this over. Okay. And I'm just going to hold it there. So I'm going to glue on the inside and then I'm going to pull it tight and hold it there. Okay. And then I'm going to keep doing that. Glue along that first pole. Wire. I don't know the technical terms for any of this stuff. And then I'm just pulling as I'm pressing down. I'm just going to keep going. I'm just going to pull this through just so it kind of helps the fabric line up the way it needs to and then I can cut it. So more hot glue and then I'm pulling and pushing. More hot glue. Pulling and pushing. All the way down to the end. All right, so now, obviously we have way too much fabric here. I'm gonna cut this. And here so that this can come out because now we want this piece to wrap around the other piece okay so now I'm going to pull tight this way and wrap it up and in so hot glue along the bottom I'm actually going to Sorry. <laughs> Hot glue. Pool. Okay, so now and I'm just going to cut off this excess. Okay, and I'm going to cut off the excess in here. Now, as I was pulling that last piece, I glued it on the inside. So now the seam on the outside does not line up real well. And even if we're going to cover it, it's going to be off a little bit. But because of the way we did that, it didn't pull as tight as the other ones because we weren't pulling around. So you have a little bit of give here. So what I'm going to do is just take some glue and I'm, I don't know if you can see, see how that's really really far in like this is this is the other one like they're they're level so this one's really really in so I'm gonna put glue along here and then I'm gonna pinch from the inside and pinch my finger so that they they kind of level out okay so you see what I mean I'm gonna go along and I'm just gonna pinch it in pinch it in so let me get rid of this and that's okay that that's there because again we're covering it with a ribbon but I'm going to start here and this you're going to get burnt so just a fair warning so I'm going to need to hold it a little bit longer because it is oh sorry I just kicked the camera um, because it is 
pulled tight as it is, even though it has some give, you're going to need to hold it a little bit longer so that glue has a good time to catch and really hold on to that other side. Okay, so now I'm going to put glue along here and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just pinching from the inside. That's bringing those two sides up to be level with one another. And it's okay. There's like glue seeped out. You can see the glue. It's fine because we're going to cover it with that ribbon. I'm going to say that this is a fairly easy project. Um, like I said, I don't sew. This is the only way I could kind of come up with. There may be a better tutorial out there. I have no idea. I did not even try to search. I just kind of winged it. Um, but I have rheumatoid arthritis and my hands hurt very much. Um, actually more so today than uh, a normal day, but we're getting bad weather tonight and tomorrow so that's why and I'm still able to do this like this is this is not so hard that I can't can't do it so this is a project really anyone can do anybody who's okay to be around hot glue so I would say even kids um, with adult supervision maybe can help um, this would be a fun kind of craft project like if especially if you're like redoing a bedroom and you want to match a lampshade and you can't really find one that you like I'm just pinching from the inside. I'm adding hot glue and I'm pinching. And this is working perfectly. Um, and then all we have to do is add two more rows of ribbon and then it's all done. Then you just put it on your lamp with your low watt bulb and it's good to go. See that glue seeping out there? That's all right, because we're going to cover it up. We're almost done. All right, so now that's more leveled out, it's wonderful. Now we can add our ribbon to the two last sections. I think I dropped it before. All right, so we're gonna start up and over on this side. Sorry guys, I moved the camera really awkward now so I could have you guys see inside and I keep forgetting that it's moved. I'm going to try to move it back. Bear with me. I don't think that really did much. <laughs> All right. So now just like we did before, let me do it backwards for you. We're just going to add some hot glue along the seam. I'm just gluing and pressing as I work my way down. 
need another glue stick here. I keep mine very handy. And I never pay attention until it's like too late and I've run out of my glue. A little bit of hot glue there. That's okay though. So try not to add too much hot glue along these seams because you really don't want it pressing out. But if you get an area that does, just make that lampshade towards the wall. <laughs> that part of it. All right, now we actually have, well, I actually have some frayed pieces here. I'm just gonna snip off. And then I'm just gonna glue this over and around. So I'm just gonna snip it here. Obviously it's round, so it keeps rolling over. All right, let's finish up this last section and then we're all done. So I'm just starting at the top, up, over, hot glue it in. I have a little extra I'm just gonna snip off. did this one a little funky. Sorry guys. I did not quite get that in the right spot. All right. There we go. That was over a little too far. So now I have to redo that inside part, but that's not a big deal. So I'm just gluing small sections at a time, pressing down the ribbon as I go. And as you can see, I did not line up the pattern or anything like that, and it still looks really good. Um, obviously, if you were going to do something like uh, stripes or a chevron, you might want to try to line them up if they're going to go across, the pattern's going to go across this way. Um, this is such a crazy pattern that it really, really doesn't matter that it's not perfect. Snip this piece off. I'm just going to snip the excess and then I got to go back up to the top and fix my little area that I messed up here. So this piece is just going to get glued down and over. All right, when that dries, I'll snip that piece off. So this is it. 
this is our lovely lampshade. I'm just going to move the camera back a little bit. All right, guys, I hope you have fun with this. Um, let me know if you try it and how it works for you. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this video.